what's up guys and welcome back to the uh, ZG Outdoors channel. I will be showing you how to use a wacky rig, uh, quick rigger. This is the one from Bass Pro Shop. You can get them quite a few different places. Um, yeah, we're out in the water filming a few videos. Thought about this and I've really only saw like one good video uh, on how to use these things. So basically, uh, if you don't know what this is, a uh, wacky rig, it's basically just a, a empty tube uh, you have your rubber bands can't think any today it's been hot outside today. <laughs> um, but yeah you have your rubber bands at the end so basically you just kind of roll these down you'll stick a Cinco in and um, then just roll the rubber band on there obviously it's the longevity of the Cinco itself um, I'm gonna show you two different ways that I personally use it I don't know uh, if you know it's a ongoing thing of like other people using it this way so basically you got your Cinco uh, your stick baits of some sort uh, you basically just take this put it in you'll find the middle usually the middle is going to have a uh, like kind of flat spot right there so that's where you would want to go um, the whole point of wacky rig is like a different you know kind of atmosphere or atmosphere different way of rigging just for the simple fact of the action so say you Texas rig it and you're just gonna get that type of reaction so whenever it whenever this falls down you're gonna get that um, something I've actually really didn't do a lot beforehand but have done it you know for the past uh, I'd say probably a few weeks um, and I realized if I didn't put anything I was going through Cinco's left and right um, and there's also another thing so of well, I'm, how I'm going to show you the second way. So basically you just put it in there straight to the point that you want your rubber band to go on and you literally just clip it over. Boom, there you go. If you can see that, it is right there in the middle. Um, I grabbed just a random hook. This one has a weed guard. But so whenever you do it that way, what you're going to want to do is go take your hook uh, should have grabbed a weed guard <laughs> what you're gonna want to do uh, this is just gonna be hard to do on camera you take your weed guard and you'll put it right underneath that right there so then whenever you're doing it like I said whenever it drops it's gonna give you a little bit of a, a wacky um, like fall to it whenever it's doing that so that's how it's gonna fall right there what I personally like to do I've realized that whenever like a fish goes to bite it you know they'll do this or even if they do this they'll slip on it uh, I personally like to double up on the uh, the rubber band so but not just double up so it's a little bit more strength I like to double it up so I can kind of when I what I'll do is I'll put one on there and I'll try to kind of make it look like an X if you can kind of see that it's kind of hard but you make it look like an X that way you go through one side right here the other side uh, this one's kind of hard while I'm trying to show you it's a lot easier than I'm making it look out to be I promise uh, so basically if you notice that's an X oh it's an X and now it's coming out the side. Um, so what that's gonna do is whenever they go to bite it, you just have that. Uh, personally, I probably would've put it a little bit over to the left. Uh, you kind of put it, you can kind of trial and error whenever you're doing this um, to put it wherever you want. Personally, like I said, I like to double it up. I like to cross, I like to cross the, the rubber band and put it through that way it's X'd out and I've realized that anytime that I am fishing a wacky rig and I do it this way I'm not getting I'm not going through Cinco's left and right uh, if I do it the, the first way or if I do it without any of these uh, rubber bands I realize that I'm literally putting on a new Cinco every fish or every little bit if it catches on a rock and starts ripping um, this way kind of gives you a little bit more longevity if you're actually uh, I guess paying for your uh, Cinco's which obviously I am um, 
you know, if you're, I guess if you're sponsored and you're getting stuff for free, then whatever, you know, but, uh, that's kind of what I've realized that is the best way to do it. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, drop a, you know, question below, like the video, if you, if, you know, you found this helpful whatsoever, I am probably going to be doing a few, and I'm not sitting here acting like I know everything, uh, cause I don't at all, but I do, you know, um, if it's worked for me, then, you know, maybe it'll work for someone else. And, uh, that's really the whole point of this channel is a little bit of entertainment. Uh, you know, if I can get one person to go out fishing, um, then, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, real short, sweet. Uh, this one is from Bass Pro Shops. Um, just a little wacky rig, uh, tool, you know, kind of help you. It is pretty easy. You can also just get these rubber bands, um, in a bag by themselves. But I personally, you know, I kind of like the tool. It was like, I, th I dropped the price, you know, right below. Um, I think it was like $4.99, something like that. It's five bucks, five, six bucks. And uh, it saves a lot of time when you're on the water and, you know, you're constantly changing things out. So if, you know, you did find this helpful, like I said, drop a link. And that's all for today.